So let's see if we can evaluate the indefinite integral x over 2 times sine of 2x squared plus 2 dx. And try to pause the video and see if you can work through it on your own. So let's see what is going on here. So I have this x over 2, and then I have sine of 2x squared plus 2. Now if I were just taking, if I were just taking the indefinite integral of sine of x, that is, that is pretty straightforward. The indefinite integral of sine of x, well we know that the derivative we know that the derivative of cosine of x is equal to negative sine of x. So if I were to take the derivative of negative cosine of x, that's going to be positive sine of x. So this is just going to be negative cosine of x. And I could have made that even clearer. I could have put a negative here and then a negative here. And then you say, OK, well look, the antiderivative of negative sine of x is just cosine of x. And then I have this negative out here, negative cosine of x. But that's not what I have here. I, have, I don't have sine of x. I have sine of 2x squared plus 2. But then I have this other thing with an x here. And so what your brain might be doing, or it's good once you get enough practice when your brain will start to do this, say, OK, well, this is interesting. This kind of looks like the derivative of this. If this is, if we were to call this, well, I'm tired of that orange. If we were to, if we were to call, hey, why am I? Color changing is, if we were to call this f of x, if 2x squared plus 2 is f of x, 2x squared plus 2 is f of x, what is f prime of x? Well then f prime of x, f prime of x is going to be 4x. And this thing right over here isn't exactly 4x, but we can make it. We can, we can do a little rearranging, multiplying and dividing by a constant, so this becomes 4x. What if? What if we were to what if we were to multiply and divide by 4? So we multiply by 4 there and then we divide by 4 and then we take it out of the integral sign. And even better, let's take this 2 out. So let's just take so this let's take the 1 half out of here. So this is going to be 1 half. And so I could have rewritten the original integral as 1 half times 1 fourth. So it's 1 eighth times the integral times the integral of 4x times sine of 2x squared plus 2 dx. Well now this is interesting because if this is f of x, if, if this business right over here is f of x, so we're essentially taking sine of f of x, then this business right over here is f prime of x. Which is a good signal to us that hey, the reverse chain rule is applicable over here. We can we can rewrite this. We could also rewrite this as this is going to be equal to one. We can rewrite this as the same thing as one eighth. I want to do the same colors. I'm using a new art program, and sometimes the color changing isn't as obvious as it should be. So one eighth times the integral of f prime of x. F f prime of x times sine sine of f of x sine of f of x dx let me throw that f of x in there so sine of f of x and so when you view it this way you say hey you know by the reverse chain rule i have i'm t i i i have a function and i have its derivative here so i can really just take the antiderivative with respect to this this is essentially what we're doing in u substitution you could do u substitution here you could set u equaling this and then du is going to be 4x dx but now we're getting a little practice starting to do it a little bit more in our heads so what would this integral evaluate out to be well this would be this would be 1 eighth times times well if you take the antiderivative of sine of f of x with respect to f of x well we already saw that that's negative cosine of x so this is going to be times negative cosine negative cosine of f of x negative cosine of f of x negative cosine of f of x whoops I want to put a blue there and then of course you have your plus c so what is what is this going to be? Well, instead of just saying f prime, instead of saying it in terms of f of x, we just say it in terms of two x squared. This is going to be or two x squared plus two. It's going to be one eighth times. I have a function and I have its derivative, so I can really just integrate with respect to that function. So it's going to be times negative negative cosine of two x squared plus two two x squared. 
plus two. And then, of course, I have my, you know, I keep switching to that color, I have my plus C. And of course, I could, I could just take the negative out, it would be negative one eighth cosine of this business, and then plus C. And we're done. We have just employed the reverse chain rule. We could have used, we could have used use substitution, but hopefully we're getting a little bit of practice here. Hey, I'm I'm seeing something here and I'm seeing its derivative. So let me just integrate with respect to this thing, which is really what you would set u to be equal to. You're integrating with respect to the u, and you have your du here. This, this times this is du. So you're saying it's like integrating sine of u du. I encourage you, try to use u substitution here, and you'll see it's the exact same thing that we just did.